Here we have a stock Cobra 29 LCD Classic, and we're about to put the AC Mod 7 in it. Uh, right now, it's totally stock out of the box. Uh, we're gonna run it with the Aesthetic uh, 575 M6. And that's our, uh, it shows three and a half watt carrier, swung into about 10 watts. Audio one, two, audio, audio, audio. And uh, audio one, two, we see a lot of flat lining there, the zero volt line, audio, audio. We see it peaking to 100% modulation, but we see those flat lines in the middle. Audio one, two. Um, it's not good. Anyways, we'll test it out after we put the AC Mod 7 in it. Here we have Jay's Cobra 29, and we installed the AC Mod 7 in it with dual DC to DC converters to have 10 amps since the Cobra. Only has a two stage final. And it takes a lot more to drive it than regular uh, other radios such as Galaxies, RCIs, and so on. So, um, this radio can't go very high. The headroom is not that much. Um, so, it's maximum two watts of dead key. And you'll still be able to get about 200 and about 200% modulation or 250. At one watt, you'll be able to get to like 275. Um, we'll go ahead and key up with a regular mic here. And we have two watts on the bird. We'll bring that down to one watt. Put it at one watt right there. We'll set our reference here. We'll run the sig gem. We're, gonna have to, we're a little hot there, so we'll have to bring down the modulation. Right about there. The symmetry is up at the moment, so let's put it down. And as you can see, that's our 100% modulation right there. And as we raise up the asymmetry, at a one watt dead key, we can get to about 250% modulation. About 10 watts, PEP. -E let's kill the sig gen again. Uh, let's put our carrier up to 2 watts now. Adjust our O-scope. Bring up our modulation. That's our 100%. And the 2 watts, the most that we can go is to 175 positive modulation. Before we start clipping, and that'll bring us to our 10 watts PEP. From a two watt carrier well that's the cobra 29 if more power is needed we will have to do the mosfet mod on it he said one or two watts drive was perfect for the ld mos devices he's working with well we'll put jay's uh, cobra 29 ltd classic back on the bench because he wanted external controls and um initially had mentioned to put him on the front panel i said maybe but I went ahead and did it. Um, we have set the SWR calibration button for the asymmetry control, the RF gain control for the carrier control, and the squelch, which is the outer um, knob on the volume one uh, for the modulation. So we'll go ahead and uh, try it out here. Again, this radio is set for a maximum carrier of two watts. Two watts, that's where we have it at right now. Uh, put all the symmetry all the way down. Uh, modulate. Too hot, bring down your audio to 100%. Bring up your symmetry. Now you could go up to like 175% uh, modulation. So you're going from a two watt carrier. with a symmetry to about a 10 watt carrier. At a one watt, you'll be able to get more modulation out of it because you have more headroom. So let's kill the signal generator and put the carrier at one watt. It's one watt right there. 
setter O scope modulate bring down the modulation control bring down the asymmetry bring up the modulation control a little bit so we get to a hundred exhaust a hundred right there Wait, that's not it uh, that's past a hundred there we're pinching too much that's the right spot right there so you can add some asymmetry and there you reach almost 200 percent modulation okay so again let's put everything down counterclockwise we'll key up we'll bring up our carrier say to the one watt mark right there set a reference start the sig gen bring up our modulation level so we hit 100% right there that's past that's pinching come back to right there that's our 100% modulation out of a 1 watt carrier you can raise up your asymmetry that's 150 you go up to 200% modulation out of a 1 watt carrier now we'll kill the sig gen we'll bring up the carrier uh, to 2 watts which is the maximum this radio can do uh, these factory finals don't produce much I don't know what uh, this one even stock it wouldn't do more than 12 watts 2 watts dead key set your oscope modulate bring up your modulation till you hit 100 bring your symmetry down bring your modulation up to 100 right there now you can raise up your symmetry and we go up to like 180% Modulation on a 2 watt carrier brings it up to about 10 watts PEP. Asymmetry down, modulation down, carrier down. There you have it, the Cobra 29 LTD with the AC mod front controls. Again, we put the modulation on the squelch knob, carrier on the RF gain, and the asymmetry on the SWR calibration button.